Hey, and welcome to Thrasher Magazine's quiz about which fucking board company are you? I'm gonna find out which board company suits me by answering some questions. Let's fucking do it. You know those obnoxious online personality tests you have clocked up the in that have fucking clocked up the internet for the past few months. This is not one of them. Ah, uh, who are we kidding? Of course it is. Answer the questions below to find out what board company represents you. Represents your personality. Which is your ideal wheel size? Uh... I don't really care as long as it's not too big because when I when I started out I thought they should be bigger because the bigger they were the longer time it would take to you know to to use them before I had to get new wheels until I found out that I you get fucking wheel bites when your wheels are too big and you like your trucks loose, which I do. I guess this. Or maybe even this. I don't know. I'm not really good with sizes and shit. I just... When you whine about... When you whine about how skating was better back in the day, you're referring to... No complaints. These are the days, and they have always been. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Like, skating is what you make skating. If you keep whining about skating being better here, it's your own fault. It's it's all about what you fucking make skating. Is that... Fuck, what's his name? Wilson? That's a girl board. Yeah, so... Wait, is that his name? Anyway. Looks like a French fry or something. What is this flip trick? 360 kick flip? No. Switch front side heel? It looks like a heel. The way he's got his food out here. In more... Excalibur to fit. What the fuck is that? Is that even a trick? Is that just a, a trick question or or t trick answer or whatever? I. It doesn't look like a, a kickflip. It looks totally like a heel. Burrito. MBD means never been done. Nacho burrito de mento. Nos eating ball disorder. Nice buckle, Dennis. That's retarded. In my opinion, skulls look cool with gold teeth and a flat-brimmed hat. Should definitely have maggots crawling out of their eye sockets. Are awesome when they're on top of a sexy lady's body. No. Skulls? What is this, the night, the 80s? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't give a shit about skulls. Sure, a skull would look cool with a gold teeth. Why not? On a t-shirt? I actually... I actually just happen to have a fucking skull on my t-shirt. Well, what do you know? I mean, it, it would look cool with maggots crawling out their eye sockets, but it would also look cool and ironic with fucking gold teeth. <laughs> I don't care. Have you ever written an angry online comment? A long time ago, probably. But I hate all those all that stupid, it, but it's fun when people write angry comments to me. It always makes me laugh. You're a fucking bitch. 
Okay. Ow, you hurt my feelings. Did you watch... Do you watch skate videos on a smartphone? No. Every day, no. A few times a week, no. A few times a month, no. Nah. This is an insultingly inadequate format to probably properly fuck me display the amount of work put into skating, filming, and editing. Plus my smartphone. It's fucking terrible. What's the biggest front sight grind you've ever done on transition? Don't lie. Oh shit. Oh, fuck me, man. I ain't no bull troll. That's true. That's really true. I I, I just can't. I but I have done on some really small ones just up and down because they were small and it was kind of fun so it's under four feet it's a mix of these two have you ever had someone yell skate or die in your direction most likely out of a passing pickup truck no sad to say I have not my dream spot is a marble street plaza, 12 stair rail up with a perfect run up. If I would have kept on doing what I did, this would have possibly been it. Oh, maybe not a rail. I've never, I've always hated rails. I read it as a 12 stair. I really, I started skating stairs and gaps and then winter came and we couldn't skate outside so we had to find an indoor place and when winter stopped and summer came back or spring or whatever the fuck I never got back to skating I think I ollied a five stair and I firecrackered a five stair. That was so fun. Even a six stair. And I cavemaned a six stair. But I, I never got back to it. Then I started skating ledges, smaller ledges, and flat ground. And that's pretty much what I've been doing. So I guess, honestly, anything with the bros. And if it's something like this, I'll just sit back and I'll enjoy watching other people skate. I'll, I'll gladly do that. A hard flip is a heel flip, backside shove it. No. Kick flip, fun side shove it. Just shove it. <laughs> yes. Heel flip, no. Some bullshit. It's true. It is some bullshit. But it's also this. Is that spanky? That's spanky. Who has the best front sight in the air? <laughs> Why do they have a picture of Spanky? But he's not even on the list. Um, gosh, who has the best front sight in the air? I ain't falling for that one. They're all good for whatever reason or... I don't know. When's the last time you watched a skate video on VCR? I I, I gotta go with this one because I never have. I don't have a skate video on VCR. So I can't. Have you ever done a flip trick out of a manual? <laughs> no. Because I can't, I, I can't flip, I, I never liked flip tricks. Like I've, I've practiced, I've trained them, I've landed flip tricks, but I've never been able to learn them, I guess. They never just, they never worked for me. I don't know why. 
Um, no flips, but I did a shove it. Out of, I've done shove. I love doing shove it out of manuals. Once, not once. Fuck you. I guess it will just be no. Favorite skate tunes. Odd Future, Bad Shit, Tommy Coero, Tommy Coero, <laughs> GG Allen. That's this dude. No, no. <laughs> Nickelback. <laughs> is is anyone's favorite skate tune Nickelback? <laughs> oh man. Uh, none of the above. I really have a favorite skate tunes. <sighs> Let's see. Your board company is 3D. Is that the one with Austin Gillette, right? And Brian Anderson. And I feel like there's more people, but I can't remember. 3D. <laughs> Who the fuck are they anyways? But it's fucking... Every pro skater now is starting their own board company. It's stupid. It's crazy. I don't know why they keep doing it. Like, yeah, the first people who were like, you know what, we're going to walk away and we're going to start our own stuff. That works. But if you keep doing it now, it's not going to fucking work. There's too many. Unless you're P-Rod and you have a lot of fans, people are going to be like, sure, fuck it, I'll buy primitive boards. Oh, well, fuck it. Thanks for watching. I apparently am... 3D skateboard company. I'll leave a link. This link. In the description so you can take this fucking quiz yourself. And if you feel like it, tell me in the description which fucking board company you are. Alright? Take care, okay? Go skate. Or die. <laughs>